Welcome to Mathematics with Ms. Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 5. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, question 6. In the diagram below, the graph of the f of x equals to 10x and the g of s equals to 2 sine 2x are drawn for the interval negative 180 to positive 180. And of course, point A is given as 60 degrees and K and B are two points of intersection of F and G. 6.1, write down the period of G. 6.2, calculate the value of K and the coordinates of B. 6.3, write down the range of 2 times the g of x. 6.4, for which values of x will the g of x plus 45 minus the f of x plus 45 be less than 0 in the interval, negative 90 to put to 0? And then 6.5, determine the values of p for which sine x cos x is equal to p will have exactly two real roots at the interval, negative 180 to positive 180. Right, so the first question is, write down the period of G. Now remember, G is the sine graph. If you go to the equation of G, you'll see it is 2 sine 2x. Now that 2 is an indication that this graph's a period shrunk to half its original size. So it's no more over 360, but it is over 180. So therefore, it's 360 divided by 2, which is 180. Will you notice in this question 6.1 and 6.2 it's only one mark each so they don't expect you to do any calculations it's just straightforward deductions like if you look at 6.21 find the value of k now you'll see that k is of course linked with 60 so what you can do is you just take your sign or your 10 graph and you substitute uh, x with a 60 so 2 sine 2 times 60 will give you the square root of 3 or 1,73 the same with the coordinates of b so again b because b and a lie in the same uh, horizontal plane they should share the same k value so therefore b's k x y value is also the square root of 3 and then of course if you look at where b is situated uh, the distance between the minus 90 asymptote and B should be 30 degrees. So therefore, it is negative 90 and the minus 30 gives you minus 120. These are just straightforward deductions, of course, or you can use calculation, but there's no need for calculation because it's only one mark. Right, 6.3, write down the range of twice the g of x. Now remember what is range? Range lies, range is the y values. So if you look at the graph of g, then you will see it lies originally between negative 2 and positive 2. But they say twice the g of x, so you just multiply by 2. So therefore the range of twice g of x is negative 4 and positive 4. Now if you look at 6.4, for which values of x? Well, the g of x plus 5 minus the f of x plus 5 is less than 0. Now, you must look for the answer between the intervals negative 90 and 0 degrees. Now, you must ask yourself, what does x plus 5 mean? It means that the g graph and in, in its x value will move 5 degrees to the right. So, both graphs will move 5 degrees to the right. And then if you do that, if you look at the sketch, then the answer should lie between negative 65 and negative 5. Right, 6.5, determine the values of P for which sine X times cos X equals to P will have exactly two real roots. And you must look for the answer in the interval, negative 182, positive 180. It means the entire graph. So 4 sine x cos equals to p, then what you do is you multiply both sides by 4. And then, of course, sine x cos uh, 2 sine x cos x is your double identity, which we can replace by sine of 2x. So it is 2 sine 2x. Remember, it is 4. 4 comes from 2 times 2. Equals to 4p. Then, of course, therefore, 4p is then plus or minus 2 if you divide by 2. And therefore, P will be either minus half or plus half.
This is uh, Mathematics with Amps, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.